And good evening, everyone. Welcome inside the Houston Fieldhouse on the campus of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. It's time once more for RPI Engineers Hockey right here on ESPN+. Plus. This evening, it's the beginning of a two-game weekend non-conference set for the RPI Engineers men's hockey team, as well as a bit of a geographical masterpiece as the University of Alaska Fairbanks, the Nanooks are in town for two games. They take on the engineers beginning right here. Squeezes his way around Carl Falk. Puck along the end boards. Gagneau off the boards here is Hallbauer sending towards the net, deflected off of Herman. Kicked away with the left leg pad by Radomski. It's flipped outside side of conference play. Near side, a one-time attempt whiffed upon there by Milimok. It goes into the corner. He pokes it along once more. Kept in at the point, a deflection in front. They score. Braden Nicolette's parked himself right in front of Jack Watson's net. A deflection on the TJ Lloyd shot. And the Alaska Nanooks have taken a 1-0 lead on the road. Well, pretty simple play. Went to face off back to just shoots it on net. And a real good deflection in front of the net by Nicolette's. There he is. He's got his stick perfectly placed, so that would redirect over the top glove hey, side hey, of Watson. The deflection in front by Brady. Sent into the far corner. Falk tries to take it in front. A shot coming, saved by Watson. No rebound available. Good well, they're brothers, I'm assuming they're twins. Both are soft. Last winter here is beaten on the near side. On his backhand, whips it low for Evans. Looking back door, he's got a man in front. A diving play there as Smolinski was in deep. Rubsov was the one who laid out to block that pass. Here's Hallbauer up top, looking for the punch, and they get it, and they score! One defender to another as Max Smolinski was in from the point. He deflected the shot from Hallbauer, and the game is tied at one. Oh, well, real quickly, a defenseman. But he got caught down low and probably was headed back to the point. Just got a stick on that puck and it went five hole on the goaltender, Radomski. Kyle Hallbauer is racking up the assists. One puck stole the, in the offensive end for the Nanooks. On the near side here is Pike, a backhand feed for Lloyd. Lloyd on goal, glove save made by Watson. He swallows up the rebound off the chest and into the catching mitt and that will stop. They had two. Second unit on now near side here is Nielsen with down low, a bumper pass in front on the backhand, kick save made by Watson. The rebound skittered its way right past Johnny Sorensen on the penalty kill for the engineers. Good defending there by Sturdy. He was the one that got Nice the... play by McCauley to get free. There's McCauley on goal, kicked away by Watson. The rebound loose, he didn't know where it was. Buck picked up at the top of the circles, Comels. Good offensive pressure here by the Nanooks. Turnovers in the neutral zone and they come right back. Uh, get a good shot. Near side, sent on goal, blocked in front. Puck is still loose. Taken to the corner there by Rubsov. Tried to whip it in front, and the net went careening over the head of Jack Watson as it was. Just about that, Rubsov went, watch. He knocks it over here, and then he backs off going, oh, kind of like the cat that got caught. <laughs> uh, hey, he's skating around it all looking. Yeah, Who oh, how'd that net get yeah, there? Yeah. Here's another look at it, so there he is. He's like, oh, oh guys, you see that net over there? <laughs> the netminder Radomski just went to the bench. He thinks there's a penalty, the net's empty. The engineers have a chance to score here on an empty net. Radomski thought there was a penalty, stolen by Heidemann. Shot on goal, block, whip past the near side post. Radomski is back in net. It's sent off the end boards. Now there's a player loose. It's Nielsen. He, the puck went skittering past him, centering feet. A bumper pass from Rubsov got blocked. Goodness gracious. Past the near side post. Brown will whip it to the point. Deflected again in front. Save made. The rebound was loose from Azadi for the moment, but he couldn't get a backhand by. Face off controlled by Matsui. Bergmanis one timer. They score. Kyle Gaffney on the far side, a one-timer beats Watson. The second goal for Alaska off of a face-off win tonight. They've retaken the lead. Play and it's the second time they've won it tonight. And a clear win all the way to the point and setting up for the one-timer to the left of Watson. Here's another look at it. He's wide open. The 
The goal from Kyle Gaffney. Grab that puck for him, the freshman out of play. That's where TJ Lloyd finds it. It's deflected in on Watson off of the waiting stick there of Brady Risk. So lots of these. He likes to just hold the puck for faceoffs. There might be some time. The puck is still loose down low. Rubsov has it again to the point. Lloyd fakes a one-timer. Pike at the point on goal, right into the catching glove of Watson, who will hang on and take a faceoff. Good pressure here for the Danuks here. Uh, RPI here as Pike just throws it at the net. Jacob Lee doing a good job. The engineer, so he went to the net. It was a six on five as a turnover in front, a shot by Falk and a save by Watson. And in transition there, was able to knock that puck free. Now it's Lee on the near side, hits the brakes. Jacob Lee, here's the trailer. Hallbauer, save made, rebound is loose. Found by Falk, that one I think actually got blocked and you can see Kyle Gaffney who is in a lot of pain. I think he wore that shot from Hallbauer, a huge block if that is indeed the case. About John Beaton saying how good that second line had been, but the scoring right now is coming at a premium for the engineers. They look to add on as Agnew sends toward the net, deflected off of the stick of Mazzotti and wide into the corner. Mazzotti, however, maintains possession in that corner. He's on his backhand, centers a pass for Walsh. He snapped it on goal, and a rebound off the end boards available for Lee. He couldn't find it on goal. Another chance in front, it pops away off of Radomski, and it's knocked back out. That's where the battle will ensue from there. Hallbauer again, one-timer, loose, save made. The rebound was backhanded through the crease and wide, a chance for John to get on the board in the third. Well, this is the offensive push you're looking for. Couple of real good opportunities and open. Netsky top of the circle is looking for some room. Here's a near side pass. Booty and a blocker saved by Radomski. Back the other way. Quick move for Sorensen. Saucer pass in front, saved by Watson. The pass was in front to Doyle. Able to do so in the direction of Brendan Booty, but a turnover. Led ahead by Gaffney. Backdoor feed, they score. A turnover in the neutral zone leads to a chance for Alaska and a one-timer by Matt Cothy beats Jack Watson clean and Alaska has jumped out to a two-goal lead with a minute 15 to go. Play by the Nanooks here. Look at a lot of patience. Slides it over for the one-timer. Nobody up on that player coming. I don't know if he came from the bench, but that's how you execute a three-on-two right there. And of course, you had Mashey back there playing defense as one of the D-men because he had to cover for the D-men that had went down in the offensive zone. And the Nanook player, Israel, will go down on one knee here, watch. Oh. Face off one on goal, that one got blocked. He did end up going down on one knee. It just wasn't the shot that I think a lot of people were expecting, but time runs out nonetheless. In the visiting University of Alaska Fairbanks, Nanooks have come into Troy, New York after the long journey from their campus in Fairbanks and pick up a three to one victory over the RPI engineers to begin the two game weekend series between these two teams.